Okay guys, uh, seeing there's a bit of a debate, a debacle, whatever, on this homebrew, what I call Tesla coil power supply, a uh, bit of a debate as to what exactly this was, or is, or supposed to be, and, and apparently I am supposed to uh, research this a little bit more, according to one person. Uh, no, I'm not actually. Not going to. You guys are the, uh, apparently the whiz kids out there, buddy. So, uh, yeah. So, like I said, this thing had a tube. Hello? A tube right there with a pile of wire on it that was attached to this. Now, the only reason that I call this a Tesla coil power supply is how in the hell else would you, you know, supply enough voltage to run a Tesla coil other than with a gadget like this vehicle. Um, Ignition um, coil. Boys, like, relax out there, for God's sakes. Yes, I figured this was a capacitor. Yes, this is the ignition coil. Yes, there's all kinds of voltage pops out of there. And yes, it runs on 12 volt. And as you crank this, that's what file fires the sparks from here. That would have went to the Tesla coil to do whatever mad experiments they guy had in mind to do with it. Other than that, I have no freaking idea what this was built for, why it was built, other than it was built. You supply the uh, negative 12 volt, positive 12 volt, and you get nice sparks shooting out of here. Upwards to 40 to 60,000 volts. Yeah. Anyway. Like I say, I never built this thing. I do not know the guy that made it. I do not know the reason why he made it. Or then, I'm only telling you what I know based on the parts that was with it so there was a piece of cardboard glued down with a tube right there with a bunch of wire on it and it was with this what would you surmise this would have been for Put your finger on it and electrocute yourself. Buy so, buy so, buy so.